Hey guys, welcome back to my shop. Thanks for joining me today. Well, I have mounted fans in the shop. That video coming later. But first, let me show you how we made those. These are, yep, you guessed it, cord hiders. Kind of a French cleat inception, if you will. <laughs> like that. Anyway, I think cords can be unsightly. And every once in a while, you come up with a solution that is not only practical, but also looks pretty good too. So check this out. This is how we did it. It's gonna be a quick one. Thanks for joining me. All right, guys, we're gonna start this project off by cutting down some half inch Baltic birch plywood into four inch pieces, and then follow that up by some three quarter inch material into one inch pieces. I've got all of them lined up at once on the crosscut sled. Should make quick work of this. Actually worked pretty well. Didn't think it was going to, but yep, it worked. Just make sure everything's lined up just right. After that, I'm taking a piece of a 45 degree angle French cleat off cut, and I'm cutting these down into one inch pieces as well. These are gonna be used to go on the one inch strips that we just cut earlier. Now, speaking of those one inch strips, we're gonna tack those in place with some glue and brads. Pretty easy construction. And I do recommend soften those edges as well. Now it's time to turn our attention to attaching these little cleat pieces and you're gonna use some CA glue and activator from Starbond and let me just, this is real world man. CA glue can be a bit sticky and I've stuck my thumb to the workpiece. But luckily I have a bottle of, yep, you guessed it, acetone. You can also use nail polish remover which essentially has acetone in it. And within a few seconds, my thumb is free, as you can see. So just be careful when you're working with this stuff. It is a wonderfully versatile tool in the shop, but you do have to respect it, and apparently I didn't right there. So anyway, learn from my mistake. Please don't make the same one. Now that the final cleat is installed, we're gonna go ahead and reinforce these joints with some low-profile countersink screws as well. Once that's all finished, go ahead and sand everything flush and turn our attention to cutting out the cleats that are gonna be mounted on the front of these pieces as well. So I'm gonna cut eight of these cleat pieces total. This is three quarter inch material with one edge cut at a 45 degree angle. I have a ton of French cleat videos on this channel. If you wanna go through, I will link a few down below, especially one about which one may be right for you in your situation. Also, I'm gonna use some CA glue and regular wood glue in tandem with each other. This is the CA glue PVA glue trick. Basically, you put some wood glue down in the middle of a piece, use some CA glue on the edges and some activator, and then the CA glue itself, or the super glue, becomes the clamps that hold it in place while the wood glue has time to cure. This stuff from Starbond is amazing. If you wanna check them out, I've got their site linked down below as well. All right, so let's see how these work. Basically, the cord funnels in behind that channel we made with those one inch pieces. And then you're able to put something else on top of it. This is actually a pretty good idea. What do you think? It hides the cord and you've doubled your functionality in a space that ordinarily would just be lost by something just hiding the cord. Again, I think these aesthetics matter. When you come into your shop, you like to have things really nice and this is gonna help me achieve that goal. I wanna know your comments on what you think down below. Well, honestly, this is pretty cool. The whole French cleat inception idea back when in my other shop uh, cleats on cleats it's kind of a cleat within a cleat kind of thing you know dream within a dream if you haven't seen the movie go see it uh, anyway I thought this was a pretty cool solution for this and I get little bitty baby cleats to put other things on which is always a plus <laughs> anyway guys thanks so much for joining me you know usually my kids are involved with these videos but guess what this video was filmed and made all in the process of them being in school for the day so that's why. Anyway, they'll be in the next one, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Until then, we'll see you later.